The 56 members of the Islamic Development Bank include some of the world's poorest countries and some of its richest. The Saudi Arabia-based agency lends tens of billions of dollars, undertakes projects to improve education, agriculture and infrastructure, and aims to spur innovation and trade to help raise living standards in developing and least developed Muslim countries. Its annual meeting is a chance for delegates and governors to discuss the best ways to boost economic development and ensure it's both evenly spread and sustainable. One topic that comes up time and time again is the need for more investment in infrastructure. And that's where IDB member countries stand to benefit from China's One Belt, One Road initiative. The plan to improve sea, road and rail links from China across Eurasia takes in several IDB member states, including Malaysia, Bangladesh, Pakistan and the Central Asian republics. Initial signs are that uh, our member countries are quite excited and uh, will be partner in this. One of the IDB's key goals is to boost trade between Muslim countries, something the Silk Road Initiative could help. This uh, particular initiative uh, obviously helps uh, connecting member countries, uh, especially Central Asia and, and, and other countries that are uh, you know, hosts for major uh, reserves of uh, energy, uh, raw material, uh, food. Uh, so in terms of food security, in terms of uh, enhancement of local economies, uh, in energy sustainability, I think that will be very key. Others at the IDB meeting share that view. Projects will be implemented if the countries want them. And connectivity is such an important thing. And many of these countries along the route are also landlocked. So I think this is very timely, this project. It will be timely indeed if the discussions at the IDB meetings and initiatives like One Belt, One Road can be converted into tangible actions that improve people's lives. Ryan Meltzer, CCTV, Jakarta.